good evening, ladies and gentle pals. Uh, doing Star Wars The Old Republic tonight. Uh, 7.1 dropped today. We did the download, and we're here doing and seeing what kind of story we got. Uh, right as soon as we get we log in here, we got two missions uh, that are ready to go. One is launched. That's probably going to be the story mission. Let's see. Let's click on that one first. Uh, it reads, even though Darth Malgus is in Empire's custody, the Sith Lord claims that his plans are already in motion. It's up to you and your allies to learn what dark ambitions Malgus was trying to achieve and stop them before it's too late. Click launch, blah, blah, blah. Uh, those are generic rewards. We get some, let's see, we get some decorations for your stronghold. Oh, that one's nice. Nice little Sith holocron there. Or relic of null, I guess. Generic pillar. I wouldn't do much with that. And this thing, what does that go on the wall? It's a floor large centerpiece, and it sits like that, huh? Okay. I mean, I'll look forward to seeing how it actually uh, looks in there. Alright, so the, a small incentive, but somewhat of an incentive to do this on multiple characters and get your characters, you know, built up. You know, in case, like for example, this one I could see people wanting, you know, a bunch of, but again, I don't know if you're going to play through this eight times just for pillars, but um, the holocron's a nice, nice little thing. It's on this little rock formation here. All, all of them go great in the, the Yavin strongholds, for sure. Uh, oh, before I forget, uh, while we weren't streaming last night, special shout out to Captain Falcon 1766 for following the channel. Uh, followed us at 4 a.m. last night, Eastern Standard Time. So either uh, an early riser on the East Coast, uh, somebody who stayed up late on the West Coast, or somebody from Europe. Whoever you are, thank you very much. Appreciate you following the channel and supporting us. That puts us at uh, 13 followers. We're trying to hit 50, trying to get to our affiliate goal here. Oh, also tonight... Uh, today too we got launch of the nightlife event uh it's the gambling event <laughs> so you know you want to gamble your money away i haven't played in quite some time so if we have time at the end of the night uh i'll go check that out too uh i suspect we won't have time tonight though because uh you know with between these two. Oh, and then let's check out this other one veiled threats this was the other one that popped up this is this looks like it's for the Daily area, Manan. Uh, the Sith Empire continues its incursion on the Kulto rich world of Manan, but the native Selkath and interfering Republic forces show no signs of stopping their counteroffensives. Personnel with knowledge An officer of in the Empire's intelligence services wants to implement new strategies, but they require an once. ally with considerable skill. Go to Commander Crux. Hidden outposts in the Manan invasion zone to learn more. And then, uh, looks like you get a reputation uh, token right off the bat so all right so we'll, we'll do this one first this one's the story uh, last we left off we captured Darth Malgus and the ruins of Null uh, there was that other green Twi'lek that uh, escaped with the holocron I forget her name at the moment and that's really unprofessional for me to forget her name but I'm sure we'll uh, I'm sure she'll become relevant uh, soon so let's click on this and let's see where we're at here all right. Doesn't look like they're gonna make us watch the uh, the trailer again, which is good. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a great Tuesday night. I'm doing all right myself, although the. Uh, the house has got a bug uh, coming through it right now. Uh, both the wife and little three-year-olds are coughing their brains out. Although, it's not COVID. PCR came back negative. I don't know. Maybe it's a false negative. I, I, I don't even know with this stuff anymore. I don't think all of us, any of us, have real answers anymore. And anybody who claims to, I, th I think at this point, is just making stuff up. You know, or they have a false sense of security. Because I, I just, I don't think we know what's going on with this. Anyway, let's not get into that. Uh, for space bar to continue. Let's go. Let's see what's going on here. All right, generic shuttle flying through hyperspace. Cool. Always good to see Kira. Kira, are you all right? Honestly, I'm not great. I see. Then it is fortunate I came along. 
I think so too. This feeling gets worse the closer we get to Elam. Let's see. Okay, so my Sith Inquisitor we're doing this on is Dark Side, so we're gonna be a bit of a jerk to Kira. I can't believe I brought you along because of a bad feeling. Honestly, I can't believe it either. I really wasn't expecting to work together like this again, but here we are. When you came back from Elong, Scourge and I both got this weird feeling, like we just uncovered a memory. It's unclear, but familiar. Like a dream. I tried to help Kira and Scourge clarify the details of what they sensed, to bring their feelings into focus. But my guidance could only do so much. We all agreed that further exploration was necessary. Scourge traveled to a place I'm unfamiliar with. There are ruins there that he suspects may have a connection to Darth Null. I wish the big guy was here. I can't remember the last time I did something like this without him. It is for the best. Your paths will join again, though you must walk alone for now. My hope is that being in the presence of this fortress on Elon will make sense of the strange feelings you are having. And whatever these feelings are, if they have something to do with Darth Null, then maybe they could help you figure out what Malgus was trying to do. I just find it weird I fly I my own ship, we're about you know, to find out I don't have a lackey doing it. The hand of the Empire's recovery team should have plenty to tell us. Yeah, well, this guy's either captives or just a... Oh, there's our free holocrime. We're going to pick it up right now. There it is. Before we discuss anything else, it would be best if Kira and I familiarized ourselves with this place. We'll meet you at the camp after we look around for a bit. I promise we won't break anything. So Darth Null, uh, nobody seems to know a lot about. Uh, her, I believe. Okay, they're letting us bring whatever companion we want, so uh, I guess I'll leave Pierce. He's my, uh, he's one of my level 50 companions. I don't know why I felt compelled to bring him to 50, even though he wasn't uh, an Inquisitor. Oh, Talos is here. Hey, Talos, how's it going? Talos, greetings, my lord. Oh, he looks you must ridiculous. Must be eager to see how we are progressing. <laughs> This has certainly been one of the most intriguing expeditions I've ever participated in, even after all my Makes time in the though. Reclamation Service. And working with Colonel Gola has been a truly enlightening experience. Less prattle, more getting to the point. Oh, yes, of course. Believe it or not, this fortress may not have been as isolated as we first believed. Sifting through the wreckage, I've uncovered several artifacts that bear striking similarities to relics discovered on previous archaeological digs, on worlds far from this one. Once the relics here are thoroughly documented, I will conduct a full investigation into these connections. Perhaps you could provide a map that identifies other locations Amalgus targeted. Oh, I shudder to think what other priceless sites he may have ransacked if you hadn't stopped him. If that's all you have to report. If you are so inclined, I would encourage you to examine some of the relics for yourself. You'll find them around the camp. Someone with your ability should have no trouble recognizing the mystifying sensations I've described. Do let me know if I can be of any further assistance. I I'm glad they're bringing back a lot of these companions every time you, uh... You know. Uh, you know, do these story missions. It's, you know, you, you don't want to use the companion once in the story and then they just kind of fade to the background. So it's good that, that Talos is here. It's good that Kira's here. Although, interesting, you recruit him along the way. I wonder if that's going to be a requirement now. You, he doesn't come along as part of the regular story. I'm glad they did that. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I wonder if it's 
it just works out differently if he's not already part of your companions. That that would be interesting. What do we got over here? We got some droids getting prepped for war over here. Okay. Got some relics. We'll click those in a minute. Let's see what's going on. Okay, she's got her binoculars. She's checking stuff out. Okay, this is all uh, reclamation service from... Uh, oh, this guy, Rivix. I knew he'd be lurking around here. Rivix reminds me more of a vampire, given his outfit and everything. Even though... I don't know if I've ever seen a vampire with red skin like that. But for some reason, it reminds me of a vampire. Alright. So this relic vibrates with unseen energy. We can examine, touch the relic, or walk away. Well, let's not walk away. That's... Let's check it out. You feel an uncomfortable buzzing sensation in your mind. It gets worse the longer you stand near the relic. Okay, buzzing. It's strong with the dark side. Naturally. All right, this is the other, this is the pillar. Okay, so it's a little bigger. This obelisk was recovered from the ruins of the fortress. All right, we'll, we'll touch this one. Before the fingers can even touch the artifact, if you feel a sharp shock. Well, that shouldn't, you know, I got the electricity. Shouldn't really surprise me that much. All right, and we're going to go all the way over here. I guess this is the one they want us to touch last, because since they, uh, uh, get to last, rather. We'll ride over here. Okay, so you get a real bird's eye view of your three, uh, uh not bird's eye view, but a real good look at your uh, three decorations. Okay, so it's a little bigger than... Get off. It's a little bigger than, you know, it looked initially. I thought it was going to be like half that size. The large relic appears to have been thrown from the ruins of the fortress. Oh, I missed that last part. Can I go back? It appears to have been thrown from the ruins of the fortress. It looms silently over you. I assume that's when Darth Malixus walked in on uh, the two Jedi. I will touch this one too. The relic comes as your fingers graze its surface sense of feeling of loss. It's brief. A memory just out of reach. Unfamiliar symbols swirl in your mind. Concentrate on the symbols. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Walk away. Who's going to walk away? That's cowardice at this point. Let's do it. Come on. Great difficulty. You fix one of the symbols in your mind. Continue concentrating. You maintain contact with the relic, but soon it is too much to bear. Well, I'm reading too slowly. Too dramatically. You instinctively pull your hand away. The large relic appears to have been thrown from the ruins of the fortress. It looms silently over you. Something feels familiar, but you aren't sure what or why. All right, cool. All right, we're going to examine more relics. Okay. Hope we get to kill something at some point here. Maybe a force ghost? What do you think? Colonel Barden Gola. Have we met him before? Oh, I think we have, actually. Can't place him right a now. A pleasure to see you again. It's been quite some time since the incident in the Dune Sea. It's been a very long time. So long that I'm having trouble remembering your Dune name. Dune Sea? Colonel Barden Gola, Imperial Reclamation Service. Although I was still a captain when we met on Tatooine. Oh, that's why it's... We've been incredibly fortunate <laughs> to have Colonel Gola join us. His expertise has been nothing short of invaluable to this team. Thank you, Lord Rivix. Such high praise. Especially considering the results of this mission. What do you mean? I've led many expeditions that were largely successful despite their dangers. But this one is unusual. They're all unusual. Our time here has been relatively <laughs> uneventful, yet we haven't learned much. Every fragment of every artifact found in these ruins has been examined twice over, but we still can't conclusively say why. Darth Null built the machine inside this fortress. But with you here, perhaps we'll grow closer to solving this mystery. Anything you and Lord Rivix could tell me about your time here would be helpful. No, I don't believe it. Don't What's tell me it's the freaking Empire Emperor again. That feeling I couldn't explain. I didn't think it would be this. This was from Darth Null's machine? That Malgus destroyed? It was. Darth Null. 
She was a child of the Emperor. Valkorion's children are dead. I killed most of them. Not that kind of children. The children of the Emperor were a secret weapon. Kind of like the servants we stopped from killing Master Satil. They've both been around for centuries. The big difference is the servants blindly follow the Emperor. That wasn't the case for the children. The Sith would take people and implant them with a small piece of the old Emperor's power. Then he could control them, make them do whatever he wanted. Most of the children weren't even aware of what had been done to them. Not until it was too late. But the Emperor is gone. Sleep rages. If he had any control left over the remaining children, that connection has been severed. This begs the question, why would Malgus take such an interest in a pawn of the former Emperor? A centuries-old pawn at that. Hmm. If only there was someone who could tell us more. Your dramatics are getting tiresome, Rivix. Yeah, really. If you know something, say it. As you wish. According to the records we obtained, two dig teams were originally sent to Elam, one from the Republic and one from the Empire. Every member of both teams has been accounted for except one. Sahar. A young Jedi named Sahar Katin. All of our personnel files indicate that she's the Padawan of the Jedi Historian who led the Republic's expedition team. Master Denom Orr. A missing Padawan who survived an encounter with Darth Malgus. The Republic will be furious when we get to her first. Their anger will be immeasurable. But let's not revel in it too soon. Sahar Katin must have witnessed what Malgus was doing here. If she's alive, she will tell us all she knows. And you're gonna ask her nicely, right? No Sith interrogation yeah. techniques. That is something to decide when we locate the Padawan. But finding leads will take time. Until then, I have a suggestion. Speak to Malgus. You think he'll say anything? Not willingly. But the certainty he's placed in his own schemes can be used against him. If that fails, I'm sure that a little encouragement will compel him to reveal torture. something useful. Talk about torture. The path forward grows ever longer, it seems. It's an MMO. They always, it, the path forward always go, grows longer. You're never done. <laughs> okay. Somebody's killing... Something. Oh, this must be Sahar. I like what they did. Gave her the, the half. She lost part of her Leku. I, I like that. It makes her give her a little more personality. I'm surprised you don't see more Twi'leks right like that. Who's she freeing here? Oh, is that her brother? It's gotta be her brother. It's me. It's Sahar. Oh man. Wait. He's, he's still upset. Rakan. Please. Stop. What is wrong with you? I risked everything to be here and you won't even listen to me. Yeah, cuz you left him behind like if I ago. hadn't saved you, who knows what these slavers would have... What in places are you talking about? I'm not a slave. But... But I thought... You left. You don't know anything. This should have been my fight. My chance of greatness. But you stole it from me. Again. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Rakan. For everything. I shouldn't have spoken to you like that, and, and I'm sorry for leaving you behind. I regret it all the time. I would give anything to go back and do things differently. 
Sure. I know I can never completely make it up to you, but please, can I at least try? You're all I have left. Yeah, because Master Orr's dead. Whatever you need, I can help you. I don't need you. Look what he's got going on in the sleeve for his Leku. I, I don't think I've seen too much of that before. But I do know someone who can use you. They should do more of that, honestly, in, in the, the game. Follow me. Keep up and keep quiet. Or you're finished. You're finished. I think he's gonna kill her. <laughs> Alright. Okay, two cutscenes, and I guess we're going to go for a third right now. <laughs> I will say, this is a bit more story than... Well, it's not more yet, but... It's like, be careful what you wish for, right? You know, that was the big complaint at 7.0. People were done in like an hour, hour and a half with, with the new story, and they were like, what is this? It can't be done already. The days of uh, Knights of the Fallen Empire and Knights of the Eternal Throne are over. Times when we drowned in story. I think, it, what was it, like every month? we, Every month or every week, I forget, that we got a new chapter. Those were the days, man. 27 chapters, rapid fire. You just, you just drowned in chapters in story content. I, I still got like half my half of my alts are just stuck in those chapters. And and even some of them you even just space bar through and you're still like just stuck there. Like they just take forever. Alright. I don't know what they think those droids are gonna do. They're just gonna get in the way and be an expensive mess when Malgus gets out. You're here. Good. I tried a few techniques to prepare him for your conversation, but the results were unsurprising. He wasn't particularly forthcoming. Perhaps you'll have better luck? It's so satisfying seeing you like this. It's everything you deserve. Are you really not going to say anything? Give us some privacy. Eventually he's got to say Are you something. Certain? I said leave us. We'll leave you to it. Don't let your guard down. Anybody getting some Joker vibes here? He got captured on purpose, everybody. So dramatic. It's a walk away. <laughs> Actually, not all that. Open your mouth and speak. Unless you want to see how far you'll fall. Yeah, but he's come back from the dead before. Drifting in the void of space should be easy for him. Why are you so interested in a child of the Emperor? You are hopeless. What did you say? You're a fool. A witless, miserable wretch. And your desperate flailing against the inevitable is pathetic. You fail to see what was right before your eyes. Darth Null was no child of the Emperor. She was the first. The mother of them all. Darth Null created the children of the Emperor. Huh. Okay. She hunted the quarry. She broke them, indoctrinated them. His power, his will, but her methods, her inventions, until the Emperor no longer found her useful. 
How fortunate that we destroyed all of her machines before locking you away for good. Do you think a Sith like Darth Null had no other designs? Do you think the secrets buried in that fortress will stay hidden forever? This is beyond your control. Everything my plan required to succeed has happened. My vision will come to pass. Everything is happening as I Nothing see. you do will stop this. Step back. Now. Remember who's in control. Step out of line again, and I will kill you. How nice they give him a throne to sit on. <laughs> All right. We'll get off. Oop. Nope, going the wrong way. Return to Alliance Operations. Okay. Yeah, but they can't just transport you there. It's just gonna be another cutscene, right? I got really worried for a second that, that he was going to say that she was another personality of the Sith Emperor, and I was about to rage quit this game and never turn it on again. <laughs> I'm done with the Sith Emperor, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just... He was a great villain, but you just... You gotta stop bringing him back. Three times is really... That's it. I get it. He was a big villain, but you gotta move on. You gotta think outside the box here. I'll buy the mother of the Sith children. I'll, okay, I get that part. You want to clean up the remnants, you know, she's very instrumental. I can see that. Darth Null created the children of the Emperor? That's way worse. Malgus must have wanted to create something similar. Oh, An army of unwitting sense, slaves. It's only natural for a Sith to seek out the greatest instruments of power and use them. I don't disagree, but we shouldn't allow Malgus to recreate weapons that once belonged to Valkorion. Did Malgus say anything else? He said that capturing him stopped nothing. That Null's secrets wouldn't stay hidden forever. Sounds like he was bluffing. Scourge and I spent years hunting down the last of the old Emperor's followers, and even we didn't find anything about Null. And since we became aware of her existence, no one in the Force Enclave has found anything. Non-existent records, a ruined fortress. The Emperor obviously got rid of Null and destroyed all of the evidence for good measure. Not everything, apparently. Makes sense. What do you mean? While you were questioning Malgus, Darth Rivik sent us these audio files. They were recovered from a datapad his team found after you left Elon. Expedition report. Day four. Oh. Jedi Master, Dillon Orr, Elon Recovery Team Leader. The more we examine the powerful device at the center of these ruins, the more concerned I become. There is a dark energy that radiates from it. One that I recognize all too well. I fear how being so close to it affects Sahar, but I must put my uneasiness aside for now. My focus must be finding and destroying the holocron Null left here. All of her designs, her plans, could be within. I will not stop until I erase every last dark stain left by the children of the Emperor. I must rectify all that we have done. Hmm. Did anyone know this Jedi was a child of the Emperor? What else do you think he was hiding? 
Admitting that you used to be mind-controlled by the Sith Emperor doesn't exactly make you popular. I don't fault him for keeping it quiet. Master Orr mentioned a holocron. I didn't see one at the recovery team's camp. Neither did I. And there is no mention of a holocron in the list of artifacts the recovery team sent to us for review. So, we've got a missing Padawan and a missing holocron. Could be unrelated, but I stopped believing in coincidences a long time ago. We should focus on locating the holocron I mean, before someone else decides Star Wars to use should. it. And there's no guarantee that it's in the possession of Master Orr's Padawan. We can't let Malgus win. Anything he's come into contact with, or might have used, should be destroyed. Including the Padawan. Seriously? Any major decisions can be made once we actually locate Saha Kadeen or the Holocron. Fair enough. This has all been... a lot. I think I'll go meditate for a while. While we're on the subject of locating Darth Null's relics, Santa Ray, do you have anything to report about your team's investigation? Yes. My news is concerning. I have been unable to reach my team for quite some time. What did they say when you spoke to them last? They said the planet we sent them to was wild, untamed, overrun with frenzied wildlife. But in the chaos, they found something. An ancient place. The structure was crumbling, but there were strange markings on the walls. A powerful force energy kept them from entering the ruins. They planned to look for other ways inside. We lost contact shortly after. If something has gone wrong, I would like to offer my assistance. I will go to these ruins and search them myself. If you approve, of course. We are getting nowhere with this lead. If your team isn't responding, we should move on. I will do what I can to reach them again and hope the Force guides them home. I believe that was everything. I know you all have tasks that your time would be better spent on, so get to them. Now! Yeah, my Sith Sark, he's a dick. Sorry, but he is. All right, it seems like Kira's going to be uh, coming back again and again. So I'm going to give her... Got time for a cool down. Glad to be back. I'm going to give her some... Ro uh, some custom gear to wear. I can't stand that generic stuff. Hmm. Just want armor. Hmm. So you know what? Let's go with the Revan armor, just for funnies. And we're gonna hide the helmet so she's just uh Yeah, there we go. And we'll take back out Major Pierce. I'm off. Just for when she shows up next time. It's Where's the more the interesting. Action? Can't stand generic stuff. I like custom, custom, custom. Oh. You good? Definitely something mysterious going on. Malgus is up to something. But we don't know what. Jesus, with this lag, man. We're not even in PvP tonight. What's going on with that? <laughs>
science isn't just a temporary thing. You're doing more than... All right, so we, they got us running all the way over here. That's the other thing, like when they see us with our shuttles and everything, why why don't they just plug in like our personal starships? Then I customize the make it feel less generic instead of that generic shuttle we've been riding for like five years. And yeah, maybe four years. Yeah, I got time to walk slowly apparently. <laughs> this is technically story, guys. I was going to say, somebody's behind me, but I guess not. Chate, you answered. Oh, her. I've tolerated your absence for too long. Come back now, or I put an end to this partnership. That's what I'm calling about. This could all be over soon. Been a long hunt, but I found the vermin's nest. It's on an old dirtball of a planet called Runic. Looks like the traitor got a lot more spineless parasites to rally around her than I planned for. Oh, okay, so now we're going to do a little side quest here to the Mandalorians. Oh, but Sahar is here. I know my limits. That's interesting. I can't take her down alone. Too many fools standing between her and me. Just the guy we let go for no apparent reason. <laughs> Lots of Mandalorians all around. Oh, did he become a Mandalorian? <gasps> That's a twist. But if you help me cut through the trash, I'll make her face me. We can end this once and for all. That's a twist. It's time for Hedda Cole to pay. Hedda Cole. That's right. You must select Walking off. only one? Oh my god. And then we guess these are bind on pickup. Alright, I'm gonna pick the holocron. Wow. Okay. That's it? Forty-two minutes. I didn't fight a single guy. It's all cutscenes. Holy crapola! Oh, <laughs> oh my God! The the nerds are gonna be pissed about this one. <laughs> oh my God! I I'm not gonna. Well, me. I'm a nerd. Yeah, I'll be pissed. Yeah, that's it. I came down here at 8.32. I think I did a five-minute preview-ish, if you want to call it that. Let's see. So what does that put me at? Like 9.40, let's say. Uh, 8.40, rather. And we were done at 9.12. That, that's 32 minutes. Excuse me. 32 minutes of new content. All right. Let's see what this daily area is about. They made a big deal about this. Maybe we'll have time to do everything. I, I mean, really, the, the chapters in... I, I keep going back to it. The Knights of the Fallen Empire and Knights of the Eternal Throne chapters were all longer than that. Alright, feels like a daily area so far. You got the, the, the crew skills all around. Alright, let's see what this guy has to say. And if, it's, if it we'll ties off. into the main story in some way. Time for your arrival is very fortunate, Darth Knox. Quirk's master hoped you would lend your assistance to us, and here you are. Oh, I don't even get to speak. I just click the answers. Quirk appreciates such enthusiasm as does his master. Our success depends on it. Commander Quirk is an intelligence officer of Dark Zarion's faithful servants. Quirk is here to see his lord's orders fulfilled. 
As you were intimately aware, the previous endeavor to claim this territory for the Empire yielded results that were unsatisfactory. Darth Krovos has yet to find a permanent replacement for Colonel Cord. And worse, Selkath interference continues to keep cultural production far below expectations. Some go as far to say that bringing Manon to heal was an utter failure for the military and for Darth Krovos. Okay. Lord Zarian agrees with this assessment. All right, what are we going to say? I had a hand in what you dare to call this failure. Consider your next words carefully. Yeah, that sounds like something I would do. No personal offenses was meant. The fault lies with many, but Quirk does not consider you to be one who deserves blame. Ha ha. Quirk has analyzed the data of the previous operation, formulated a far superior strategy, and I get to address for the Empire to finally achieve victory of this world must follow. One that the South North cannot see and therefore cannot stop. They're going too fast. Zarek's bidding, Quark and his officers have secured the new base of operators far from the reach of Krobos' forces. We've hidden ourselves in a scarcely traveled sector of Masan, away from the sea life monitoring devices the Kelf has. Selkath, yes. Fortunately for us, our enemies have turned on each other. Selkath and Serexius patrol the area. The rebels have yet to find us, but Quark does not wish to take chances. This is something you can help. I apologize. I'm trying to read as fast as I can, but Jesus, they're, they're just... Because this is Gand, obviously, they, they didn't time it properly. Get to the point is what I'm going to say. Quirk understands you have many obligations with Quirk. Hopes that you will treat this request with as much time as the others. The culture of refining platform that Colonel Quirk deployed is currently in disarray. The Empire barely maintains control of it. Lack of logistical organization coupled with a consistent enemy presence have prevented our for Until this happens, it is likely that anyone will notice if unappropriated resources from the refining platform were to fall into our hands. Any equipment you can find would be useful, but there is one particular target that is of immense value, a stealth field generator. I got a stealth generator. Such a device will allow us to continue operation without the threat of detection. What do you think? Ah. Huh. Should be no trouble for one with your talents. I said I'll see what I could do. Recovering the entirety of the generator is, not, is it necessary. A small part of the technology will be sufficient for our engineers to replicate. Okay. Should anyone attempt to stop you, deal with them as you see fit. Alright, well, I'm dark side, so we're gonna kill them. Good fortune to you and glory to the Empire. Very nice. Nice to see we're employing aliens again. Recover Imperial equipment. Alright, we're gonna go up this way. This guy forgot his clothes. He's just wearing a captain's hat. <laughs> okay, guy. Alright, we're going to come up to the mission board see what we got going on here. Oh my goodness, there's a ton of dailies to do. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. We'll pick up the weekly. And I just want to go down and do the story for now, and then we'll come back and do the rest. Uh, Destination? Um, you know, after the storyline is done. Kind of do it a little systematically. Hopefully that's not the only mission. Otherwise, yeah, people will be a little bit perturbed. I mean, it's it's safe to assume that the Republic side will be just about as long. Within a minute or two, they're not going to leave much room for error on that. Alright, so basically the Empire wants to continue to operate here, but they want to do so... Alright, that's one. Alright, I'm, I have to kill something. This is getting out of hand. So I'm just going to come over here.
search the control room for self cat technology. All right, let's see what that is. That is, is it, are we done in this area? We really got to do anything. Look. All right. Oh, all right. We're not leaving. We're just going in an elevator. Okay, that's different. All right. Imperial guards. Okay, let's go this way. Let's do it in the order in which personal phase. Okay. You ready for anything? <laughs> Confront the self captain. This is Captain Casto requesting support immediately. Okay, well. Doesn't have to end in violence, no. How pathetic long for someone to save it, face me and. No, I think, I think I'll just. Keep it just basic. For sea and spirit. Oh. All right, there, Avatar. They required me to kill something finally. Jeez. Thirty, forty minutes in now. This first thing we were required to kill. Get it. Very nice, helpful. But he doesn't hit very hard. Damn it, he says. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna be done with him. Again, we're dark side here. That's what we're doing. <sighs> Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Incoming message from blah 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 blah. Begin message. No, it doesn't actually say anything. Without a description key, this encoded message is impossible to understand. Okay. Make a copy of the message and take it. Yeah, absolutely take a copy. Lon will figure it out. Oh. Recover the stealth cap module. Yeah, I just put that in my boot. Okay. All right. That's it, huh? We're leaving this area too. All right. Turn. Ooh, I got a bad feeling about this, kitties. Got a bad feeling. It's on the other side of this, right? What the hell's this? Okay. It's over this way. It would have been cool to see Camino, but I don't think they'll ever do it. It's too similar to the way Manon is. But the way they, they have Manon, they wanted to differentiate it from KOTOR, clearly. Uh, oh, my camera is crooked. You guys have been looking at me crooked all night. You guys are sitting here like this. Um, I, I guess they wanted to differentiate from when we saw it in KOTOR. So I guess that's why they made it at night. But now all it does is just remind me of Kamino, because all the scenes you see in Kamino are at night. So... A little strange. A little bit strange. Do 
Return victorious as Quirk anticipated. The stealth device you located will all but guarantee our presence is invisible to the South Cath. We will not repeat the mistakes of our predecessors. Far from it, but Quark hopes this update will interest you. Okay. After the part you've played in this mission success is only right, you directly benefit from the results. Our engineers use the self regenerator's technology are able to craft an auxiliary piece of equipment. The available points from the technology recovered, two devices can be made. Personal shield generator capable of creating a temporary damage deflecting force field, or prototype grenades, powerful in combat but unpredictable. The choice is yours. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Alright, well, I'm DPS, so I think I'll, I'll take the grenades. What will be done is you complete missions on Manan, serves in your party schools, you'll have access to your well earned reward. Bear in mind, these devices work best when they can take advantage of this world's unique conditions. Our upgrade officers can explain further. Okay. Perk is glad for your assistance, for it will surely be required again soon. Okay. I'm going to give him a piece of that stealth technology. What have you brought? Well, you asked me to bring it back. I don't know. I don't have time to figure it out. A message of some sort. Oh, no. That's the message now. I'll probably... As Quirk supposed, that question will remain unanswered until the correspondence can be deciphered. They are exceptionally proficient cryptologists under Quirk's command when they have revealed the context of the message Quirk will inform you. Okay. Until then, there are various tests that require attention tests that can occupy by work for Quark's forces while we focus on establishing this base. And I'm going to say, I hope you don't expect me to do them. My time is far too precious for menial chores. <laughs> Understandable, but should you change your mind, there's a list of priority assignments to your subaquatic transportation system. Any of the take time will surely bring us closer to Imperial Control Manon. Okay. So that's the lead into. Oh. Greetings, Quirk. Let us see. Return the control ship to decipher the message you found. Unfortunately, most of the data was illegible. Okay, then why bother telling me this? In fact, we do not possess the entirety of the message is relevant. And a few details we could recover to cover something quite interesting. The center of the message claims to be Selkath. Okay, that's not a surprise. Or else, Manon. Whoever they are, they have great interest in making contact with the Empire's forces on Manon. An asset embedded within the cell cut would be most useful, but Quirk will not yet inform Lord Zarion of this development. This. Not until more is known. Okay. Yes, but before we do, the Quark has a request. If this mysterious cell cat makes any further attempts at contact, inform Quirk immediately. Our new mission is simple, but no less important than anything else Quirk will ask of you. If the Empire is succeed, we must harvest Kulta away from anyone with the means and the desire to stop us. And not as many untouched cultural deposits ready for the taking, well hidden from anyone who might interfere. If they are so elusive, how do you know where these deposits are? Yeah, that's a fair question. Quark appreciates your skepticism. It is a valuable asset in most situations, but not this one. Quark has a lead that could prove beneficial. A report deal detailing the location of the deposits taken from the Imperial shipping platform. Fortunately, it has somehow ended up in the hands of South Cath bureaucrats in the heart of their so called visitor center. The Imperials who gather this intelligence have squandered their opportunity to use it. The information will be far better suited to Lord Zarion's efforts. I think coming here to fetch logistical reports. Do not worry, this task merely sets the stage for something more. Okay. Quark asks to retrieve the information with the speed and efficiency only you possess. But first, a word of caution. The parts of Salcat isolation slowness movement in there have increased dramatically will undoubtedly face their internment, but Quark appreciates some difficulty in your part. We will await your return. Good god. Alright, fantastic. We're gonna actually Yeah, we're actually gonna get some conquest points. Jesus. Alright, Jesus. All right, so there's a little bit more of the, the storyline on this. So I'm, I'm going to guess, though, that all these missions are on the board here. That's usually the way it goes, right? You go and you... Let's see if Map to Nowhere is on here already. No.
Okay. These are these are a little different. Destination. Enjoy your stay. Wow, it's raining so hard, it's like practically nighttime. Okay, so this is a different area they sent us to. Not for nothing, on a water planet, this seems highly dangerous. Couldn't a, wa a rogue wave come and just wipe this all out? Safety, people, safety. Investigate the visitors. Oh, okay, so are we looking for Was there any visitors back here? No, those are Imperial Guards. Okay. So I didn't miss anybody yet. Right? That's the taxi. Where are these visitors at? Oh, that's the Republic ship. Okay, so we don't want to go over here. <laughs> All right, you know what? I think we're going to switch it up. We're going to do the Republic side storyline. Only because that's going to be just a bit more interesting. Uh, I like that there's a new uh, daily area uh, with a new reputation attached to it. Um, if you've been playing since the beginning, if you've been playing regular, you are out of reputation uh, factions to max out. You've probably maxed out absolutely everything at this point. And you need something new. So it's, it's about time. Plus, some of the old daily areas, they get a little stale after a while. You know, like, how many times can you run CZ198? How many times can you run uh, Zyost, you know? Like, give people some choice. Section X is horrible, and I don't think people go back there anymore. Uh, Black Hole is not bad. Uh, Yavin can be a little bit lengthy at times. Um, I tend to avoid it for purposes of speed. Uh, if I'm going to do a daily area, I want something I can do in, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, maybe... Maybe a half hour if you're just trying to kill time. All right. Well, I got emails. What do I got emails from, huh? All right. We're going to go. All right. So my cure, obviously, she's already custom because she's good, the main companion I'm going for right now. All right. I'm just going to go to the fleet, check my mail, and then we will get started on the Jedi Knight side. Uh, he decided to reintegrate integrate into the Republic, and he has all light sides, so the answer is... Uh, the choices to uh, conversation purposes will be much nicer than our previous Sith sorcerer. Ah. <sighs> 
And yes, he did romance Kira, in case you guys are wondering, you pervs. <laughs> Come on. Very slow tonight. Must have heard me. Alright, what do I got mail wise here? Probably guild stuff. Oh, this stuff. Okay. I haven't been on since I redeemed all the. I found a, a link on. Not a link, but like a list online of old. Like 2019 Cantina, you know. When they did the new. Um, when they did the 7.1 stream last week, they did a code and you got uh, for lots of Malgus. Actually, I'll put that in the chat here. Uh, let's Malgus. All right, so you know, redeem that and you get a, uh, a poster and you'll get it on every single character. So like how like it looks like this. Why would that pop up like that? You know, it's just a poster of him holding his lightsaber. You know, it goes on the wall. It's got a nice frame. You get a couple of them. You can make like a Malga shrine if you want. Uh, a couple of the other ones that are still active. This is just a generic mount. I didn't even particularly care for it, but I was just redeeming everything. It's free stuff. Take it, right? All right. And then this was just a uh, flare to add around the, uh, here, I'll show it to you. Nope, back here. Uh, boy, oh boy, this is really slow. This is the New York Comic Con 2019 one. That one, look, that one looks nice. I like that one, frankly. Alright, so loadout, we're gonna go back to, so we're not really, don't really need to stealth with everything. I'm gonna make him look as Jedi as I possibly can. Boy, oh boy. Alright, so let's get this show started. Let's see how the, the Republic does differently than the Empire. All right, starting in the same spot. I, it's going to be the same spots, you know, where everything's going to take place from the mall start, except you'll be on the Republic fleet, not the Imperial fleet. That'll be the big difference. Redemption. Oh, I spelled that wrong. I'm a goofball. But the code works. Lots of malgos should work. I don't think it's case sensitive. If it does, let me know. All right, same stupid generic shuttle. Sorry, I don't like the shuttle. But she looks different this time. You use one of the free blue yeah. and purple ones Are you, you got. Are you all right? Oh, never mind. Honestly, I'm not great. I see. Then it is fortunate I came along. I think so, too. This feeling gets worse the closer we get to Elam. Whatever is happening to you, I don't like the sound of it. Hey, it's okay. You know I won't let anything take me from you. Ever again. What Kira is experiencing is unusual. But there's no cause for worry. Not yet, at least. Besides, we really shouldn't pass up a chance to figure out what's happening with us. When you came back from Elong, Scourge and I both got this weird feeling, like... We just uncovered a memory. It's unclear, but familiar. Like a dream. I tried to help Kira and Scourge clarify the details of what they sensed, to bring their feelings into focus. But my guidance could only do so much. We all agreed that further exploration was necessary. Scourge traveled to a place I am unfamiliar with. There are ruins there that he suspects may have a connection to Darth Null. I wish the big guy was here. I can't remember the last time I did something like this without him. It is for the best. Your paths will join again. 
Though you must walk alone for now, my hope is that being in the presence of this fortress on Elon will make sense of the strange feelings you are having. And whatever these feelings are, if they have something to do with Darth Null, then maybe they could help you figure out what Malgus was trying to do. Guess we're about to find out, one way or another. The recovery team task force Nova sent should have plenty to tell us. See, I'm trying to think now. I think I, re I redeemed, uh, not redeemed, but I think I activated Talos too. I did his side mission on the Jedi Knight. So he should be here as well. Dang, maybe I'll, I'll, in one of my other companions, I'm gonna make a note of it, but maybe I'll, six months from now when I have time, uh, for curiosity's sake, uh, I'll purposely not activate Talos and see Before if Before we still discuss here. anything else, it would be best if Kira and I familiarized ourselves with this place. We'll meet you at the camp after we look around for a bit. We won't wander off too far. They're gonna go make out. Which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Talos, what did I put on Talos? Oh, I put a snowsuit on Talos. Okay. <laughs> Talos, hello again. I am beyond honored to see your interest in our progress. This has certainly been one of the most intriguing expeditions I've ever participated in, even after all my time in the Reclamation Service. And working with a Jedi historian, I have learned many insights that are broadening my knowledge of Force-related antiquities. It sounds like you've achieved much working with this team. An apt observation. Believe it or not, this fortress may not have been as isolated as we first believed. Sifting through the wreckage, I've uncovered several artifacts that bear striking similarities to relics discovered on previous archaeological digs, on worlds far from this one. Hmm. Once the relics here are thoroughly documented, I will conduct a full investigation into these connections. Perhaps you could provide a map that identifies other locations and Malgus targeted. Oh, I shudder to think what other priceless sites he may have ransacked if you hadn't stopped him. This sounds promising. I look forward to hearing more. If you are so inclined, I would encourage you to examine some of the relics for yourself. You'll find them around the camp. Someone with your ability should have no trouble recognizing the mystifying sensations I've described. Do let me know if I can be of any further assistance. Alright, so we know we're going to go touch or look at these artifacts. Let's see. I feel like he would be more cautious. So we're just going to examine the relic. You feel an uncontrollable buzzing sensation in your mind. It gets worse the longer you stand near the relic. I wonder how many people are actually going to choose this pillar. <laughs> man, oh man. I thought you got all threes for some reason. Examine the relic. It is covered in unfamiliar symbols, yet its function is unclear. The, the, this thing. Why would you get this thing? Large relic appears to have been thrown into the ruins of the thrown from the ruins. It looms silently over you. It's clearly part of the machine inside the ruins, but its purpose is unclear. Oh yeah, they, Sahar and Malgus, they, they went to town in there. What the hell? I'm stuck now. Quicksand, guys. You gotta be careful. It's everywhere. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't do any of this. Well, this is... Alright, we're gonna map out and come back in. Bug-free game games. Guys, there's, there's no bugs. None.
Sorry, I just dust on my keyboard. I gotta get a bottle of air and really clean this out. My keyboard, the computer. Proper maintenance. I'll tell you what's funny, when I got my uh Oh no, we don't need to do that. Okay. We just launch. Okay, so when I got um I had my custom computer built, it was the longest I'd ever had a computer. And I guess about five years in, I blew out the motherboard. And I took it down, and the, the guy calls me up. He goes, when's the last time you vacuumed this out? I'm like, vacuumed? <laughs> I, never, I never had a computer that long, or, you know. And I was like, what are you talking about vacuum? You don't vacuum. What do you mean? Because, no, you're supposed to vacuum this thing. Sorry, I thought that was clickable. I was like, oh, uh, okay. He goes, yeah, you blew out your motherboard and the thing fried. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so I had to replace the motherboard. About It was about five or six years into having it. And, uh, yeah, that was embarrassing. All right, so we got Tau here and Master Nosterol. Makes sense he's here. He's the historian. When the game launched, they did a series of, like, you know, history. Hello again, my friend. With him. I'm sure you're eager to hear what we've discovered since the last time you were on Elam. To be honest, it's not looking promising. How so? There wasn't a whole lot to find that wasn't completely demolished. The team here has carefully studied everything that survived Malgus's attack, but we haven't identified the purpose of the device inside the fortress ruins. Is there anything I can do to help figure this out? Help you help My us. hope is that you could provide some wisdom, give us a perspective we hadn't considered yet. Especially since you and Tao saw so much of this area before Malgus attacked. This... this is... Kira. It all makes sense. That was a little more intense. This feeling I have, why it's so strong. This is from Darth Null's machine, the one Malgus blew up? We think so, yeah. No. She was one of us. A child of the Emperor. This feels more dramatic. I don't know why. Am I watching her more closely? Not that I'm doubting you, of all people. But how can this be? I'm at a loss as well. Children of the Emperor? The ones possessed by the old Sith Emperor? Aren't they all gone? It's complicated. The children have been around for centuries, like the servants. The ones we stopped from killing Master Satil. But unlike the servants, we weren't eager recruits. The Sith took people and implanted them with a small piece of the old Emperor's power. The things he could make us do. And we didn't even know what was going on when he did it. Well, most of us didn't. But the Emperor is gone. If he had any control left over the remaining children, that connection has been severed. So why is Malgus so interested in one of the old Emperor's puppets? One who hasn't been around for centuries? There may be someone who could tell us. Sahar Katin. Who is that? She was the Padawan of Master Denom Orr, the leader of the expedition team I feel like that they Malgus open with attacked. That. Sahar and Master Orr lived in our colony on Osis. They're... they were... good friends. We've scoured every were. corner of these ruins. Everyone Master Orr brought to Elam has been accounted for, except Sahar. If she's not here, we should find out where she is. She needs protection. I hope Sahar is okay, wherever she is. Hey, don't worry. We'll find her. Our next priority will be identifying anything that could lead us to Sahar. In the meantime, you should go straight to the source for more information. Speak to Malgus. You think he'll say anything? From what I understand, Malgus has unwavering confidence in his plans, despite his capture. And if he thinks destiny is on his side, who knows what he'll say? Let us hope he offers something useful. I fear that our work has only just begun. But he's on the Imperial fleet. I just saw him there. Okay, so we're gonna watch this cutscene, which I believe will be largely, if not completely, the same. I like her purple saber though. The the crystal looks uh, 
somewhat different, doesn't it? Yeah, like, it's a different color from the purple, like, that I have. It's more like a purpley... Magenta-y? I, I don't know. I'm not good with colors. <laughs> not like that. Recon. Now, we, now we know he's a Mandalorian. It's me. It's Zahar. He still doesn't care. <laughs> That's really cool, man. That'd be cool to do that for the Twi'lek, uh, people who pick Twi'lek species, have them get, like, covers for their, the lake cues back there. Wait. Rakan. Or be able to do custom things, Please. like, that Sahar has. Stop! What is wrong with you? I risked everything to be here, and you won't even listen to me. If I hadn't saved you, who knows what these slavers would have... What in places are you talking about? I'm not a slave. But... But I thought... You left. You don't know anything. You know nothing, Jon Snow. This should have been my fight. My chance at greatness. But you stole it from me. Again. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Rakan. For everything. I shouldn't have spoken to you like that, and... And I'm sorry for leaving you behind. I regret it. All the time. She still regrets it. I would it. give anything to go back and do things differently. They really went HD with her details. I know Jesus. I can never completely make it up to you, but... Please. The VFX on her can face. Can I at least try? I can tell she needs moisturizer. Yeah, left. Whatever you need, I can help you. I don't need you. But I do know someone who can use you. Follow me. Keep up and keep quiet. Oh, you're finished. Bum bum bum. I wonder who pr whose prison he was in. He's clearly a prisoner of some kind, right? So I wonder, was he a prisoner of the Alliance? Or the Republic? Or Empire, depending on which character you're playing. So that would be interesting. Or just maybe just a... A prisoner of Clan Vizsla. Or Vizsla's forces. I don't know. There's probably Easter eggs if you go back and play the uh, some of the previous chapters. On Again, you got to do it on another character because not every expansion got the Knights of the Fallen Empire treatment that you could replay them over and over again i i still maintain that that that's really cool that you can go back and do that they should do that for all the stories all right interrogate malice where's malice on this ship okay he's directly across from me one thing that never changed spammers on fleet chat 1.6 billion for 10 bucks jesus it's very tempting, actually. <laughs> I wonder if all they do is just buy stuff on the cartel market and then just sell it for billions of credits and then they get the money and then they somehow make a profit that way. All right, let's see what Malgus has to say. You can't make much money doing that. There's no way. All right. Cyborgs are different. Theron's here. Oh yeah, because we didn't are. kill Theron on this one. We tried warming him up, but it went about as well as you'd expect. He wasn't particularly forthcoming. Perhaps you'll have better luck. There's no reason for us to fight anymore. It would be better for everyone, especially for you, if you told us what you were planning. Are you really not going to say anything? Give us some privacy. 
Are you certain? I have everything under control. We'll leave you to it. Don't let your guard down. Alright, so far this is pretty much identical. There's zero difference so far, except, you know, in the choices that you make in the conversation, which just kind of help you immerse you. But otherwise, he's locked up, whether it be on the Republic fleet or the Imperial fleet. All I want is to understand your intentions, what you were doing, and why. Why are you so interested in a child of the Emperor? You are hopeless. What did you say? You're a fool. A witless, miserable wretch. And your desperate flailing against the inevitable is pathetic. You failed to see what was right before your eyes. Darth No was no child of the Emperor. She was the first. The mother of them all. Darth Null created the children of the Emperor. She hunted the quarry. She broke them, indoctrinated them. His power, his will, but her methods, her inventions, until the Emperor no longer found her useful. Everything Null had on Elam was destroyed. No one can use those machines anymore. Do you think a Sith like Darth Null had no other designs? Do you think the secrets buried in that fortress will stay hidden forever? This is beyond your control. Everything my plan required to succeed has happened. My vision will come to pass. Alright, so he's saying pretty much the same thing. Nothing too. you do will stop this. That's what you believed the last time you tried this. What happened then? Although that reaction you failed, Malgus. Whatever it is you started, I'm ending it. I feel like I gave up on him a little quick. For a light side character. <laughs> Okay, return to Alliance Operations. We're gonna go there. Oh, what am I doing? Here to Alliance Command. Well, that's a cool outfit. Oh, look at the spikes and everything. I'm sorry, we have to take a stop and take a look at this. No, I don't want to see his achievements. I don't give a crap out of his achievements. Uh, no, no, no. You can't inspect them to see what. Okay, I guess that's something you can't do anymore. I wanted to be able to see what he, uh... What's he got going? I always take a look at people's outfits. That, that's kind of cool. I like that. L little ninja action going on there. Alright. Alright. Yay, third still Darth alive. Null created <laughs> the children of the Emperor? That's way worse. Malgus must have wanted to create something similar. An army of unwitting slaves. 
What a horrible thing to do. Even for Malgus. I mean, the bar is pretty low for him. Did Malgus say anything else? He said that capturing him stopped nothing. That Null's secrets wouldn't stay hidden forever. Sounds like he was bluffing. Scourge and I spent years hunting down the last of the old Emperor's followers. And even we didn't find anything about Null. And since we became aware of her existence, no one in the Force Enclave has found anything. Non-existent records. A ruined fortress. The Emperor obviously got rid of Null and destroyed all of the evidence for good measure. Not everything, apparently. What do you mean? While you were having a chat with Malgus, Master Nostral sent these audio files over. They're from a data pad his team found after you left Elam. Expedition report. Day four. Jedi Master, Dillon Ur, Elam Recovery Team Leader. The more we examine the powerful device at the center of these ruins, the more concerned I become. There is a dark energy that radiates from it. One that I recognize all too well. I fear how being so close to it affects Sahar, but I must put my uneasiness aside for now. My focus must be finding and destroying the holotron Null left here. All of her designs, her plans, could be within. I will not stop until I erase every last dark stain left by the children of the Emperor. I must rectify all that we have done. That's not what I was expecting to hear. Today is just full of terrible surprises. Master Orr mentioned a holocron. I didn't see one at the recovery team's camp. Neither did I. Didn't see anything about a holocron in the artifact list the recovery team sent over. So, we've got a missing Padawan and a missing holocron. Could be unrelated, but I stopped believing in coincidences a long time ago. We should focus on locating the holocron before someone else decides to use it. And there's no guarantee that it's in the possession of Master Orr's Padawan. I don't like that she's out there alone. Finding her should be our highest priority. I like this plan. Any major decisions can be made once we actually locate Saha Kadeen or the Holocron. Fair enough. This has all been... a lot. I think I'll go meditate for a while. While we're on the subject of locating Darth Null's relics, I believe Arkan has an update on the investigation you tasked him with. The search has been... difficult. This world is even more unusual than Santa Ray could have prepared me for. But I found something. There are ruins here abandoned long ago. What is left of the walls are covered in strange markings that I do not recognize. I tried to go further inside, but an overwhelming force energy keeps me from entering. Whoever left this place did not want it disturbed. Without a closer look, it will be impossible to learn anything about what Darth Null left here. I'm sorry. I feel as though I failed you. We know more now than we did before you left. That's something. If Argon requires assistance, I am ready to offer it. I will go to these ruins and search them myself. I would appreciate any support that can be spared. But the final decision is yours. If you need help, then it's yours. Sana Ray will join you soon. Thank you. I will prepare for her arrival. And we'll return to Odessa as soon as we know more. I will not fail you again. Okay, so that's new. That was everything on the agenda. Oh. I appreciate all of your hard work. But there's still so much left to do. Let's get back to it. Alright, so you get a little bit extra with uh, Mr. Arkin living in this timeline. That's what I'm going to call them timelines, because that's the only way you can look at this and make it make sense, because, you know, if you play the storylines totally different on Imperial and Republic side. You know, they, they don't make sense. They, they, you know, Malgus can't possibly be on the Imperial fleet and the Republic fleet, just for a, a more recent example. So, um, 
Arcane can't both be alive and dead at the same time. So, you know, that's how you got to look at the, the storylines really as they branch out. It's just it's just different timelines. You know, none of them have anything to do with each other, which, which is really sad because the vanilla storylines did make some efforts to make small references to uh, the other storylines. Like, I know people make a big deal about uh, the Imperial Agent. You know, mentioning at the end that there's actually spoilers for some of the other storylines in the end of that. Uh, I forget exactly what they were, but I know there's spoilers right at the end of the storyline. I think maybe he talks about the uh, the Sith Emperor dying or something like that, which I was dying for the first time. Let's 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 call it what it is. Chate, you answered. Shay, it's been a while since we spoke like this. That it has. Been a long hunt, but I found the vermin's nest. It's on an old dirtball of a planet called Runic. Looks like the traitor got a lot more spineless parasites to rally around her than I planned for. I know my limits. I can't take her down alone. Too many fools standing between her and me. Wait, did she have handcuffs on? I couldn't quite see. Oh no, she doesn't. She looked like she had her hands, like, when you were looking from behind. Alright, so they're but welcome. If you help me cut him, through him the trash, in. I'll make her face me. We can end this once and for all. Welcoming him in, rather, I should say. It's time for Hedda Cole to pay. Well, that's going to be the next chapter, probably. And I think this pretty much gets us caught up. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, do I want the same thing? Do I want... I definitely don't want the pillar. That That's trash. Do I want the holocron or do I want this centerpiece? with the holocron I could I could put this one on each side of something yeah I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get the I'm gonna do the same thing again because in my strongholds I could like I said put one on each side all right so while I'm here where'd it go there it is all right, so that about does it. I'm not going to bother with the, the daily area for uh, Manon on this character, only because it's, it's going to be similar stuff. You know, it's... Uh, it, it's going to be similar stuff. I, I, won't, I won't bug you with that. What we are going to do right now is we're going to hop over to my PvP character. Uh, my mercenary slash scoundrel. Started as a bounty hunter, did the bounty hunter storyline, and he's, he's the one I did the most PvP with. Oh, I found these new glasses. I don't know if he... Oh, no, yeah, I did show them to you guys. Never mind. So, my reason for hopping over here. Let's see, I got mail. I think I was sold some stuff. Yes, it did. 130 million credits. Thank you. Sign up. What am I? This week's raid in Discord. Sign up today. Oh, okay. I'm actually doing raids now. I may actually join. Nope. Which guild am I in? I don't even remember. Chaos Lust. Oh, okay. That's not one I'm in a lot. 
Shuttle to the lowest. Oh no, we don't want that one. Get rid of that. All right. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to open some of these crates and see if I got anything worthwhile for saving. Premium Warzone crate. So far new, because I guess these don't have gear in them, so. Sorry, I like to open all the trash first. <laughs> Schematic advanced. Blaster rifle. Does this look like anything? Nope, it doesn't, but we're gonna just unlock it anyway. Nope, that still has 320 gear. I guess you gotta do the, uh... Oh, 322 gear. Okay, that's slightly better. That's slightly better. And this is the one that's... Alright, so... I guess it's the rank stuff that changed the max level on. Let's see, does this look like anything useful? Nah, looks like a damn squirt gun. <laughs> I was thinking if we could keep it, keep it for uh, cosmetic purposes, but no. Let's see, do I have to get rid of any... Commendations. I think I'll probably have to. Oh, so here we are at the top. Yeah, th those I'll have to get rid of in a little bit. All right. So my initial impressions on 7.1 are: uh, I don't think people are going to be happy. You don't fight a s in the, the storyline. Logistics you, is making sure the war effort is well supplied. You don't fight anything. Um, it's over in. I mean, look, we did both of them and just discussed the daily area and kind of futzed around. I've been streaming for an hour and 55 minutes. The first half hour was just my waiting window, um, like starting soon window. Um, so an hour and 25 minutes we got through both of them, futzed around on here. I wasn't particularly rushing. It's just all cutscenes and then running from one cutscene to another. I don't think people are going to be happy with it, to be honest with you. It's not their best work. Um, I know that they're having a shakeup with the devs. Obviously, we, we lost uh, our friend who's been with us for 16 years. Not lost. He's not dead. But you know what I mean. Um, yeah, God, I just don't know what they're doing. Just don't, I don't know what they're doing, man. Well, I think I'm going to call it there. I think this is a nice uh, video, um, right where it is. Thank you all for stopping by this evening. I appreciate all the lurkers hopping in chat. Uh, check us out on Facebook and on YouTube, Jim Pal Podcast. It's the same across all. Um, a stream every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday uh, from 8.30 to 10.30. We are going to switch it up. Uh, a quick technical note uh, last time I re last night I tried to switch it up and do Mario Maker 2 I was having issues um, after some further research I found out I made a dumb dumb move and I can now play Mario Maker 2 on here so I'm going to do that on Friday Mario Maker 2 Friday is going to be at 8.30 uh, we'll do viewer levels we'll do endless runs whatever you guys feel like watching so tune on in and we'll we'll check it out uh, we'll probably return to this again on, probably return this on Sunday. Um, we did the storyline, so it'll probably just be more PvP. <laughs> I, I really didn't think I was going to get to the Republic side tonight. I really didn't. I thought we would be doing all Imperial stuff. Uh, maybe, maybe, you know what we'll do Sunday? We'll, we'll take a look at the daily areas in more uh, detail. Um, I don't feel the need to rush at this point. 
All right, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate the lurkers again. Uh, give us a follow if you enjoyed what what you saw. Um, take care. Bye bye.